Welcome to this first part of the discussion on Excel functions. In this module, we will discuss the concept and syntax of functions in Excel. We will learn how to insert a function. We will do an overview of the various categories of functions available in Excel. And we will focus on one commonly used logical function. We will also talk about how the functions can be nested within each other. Let us try to understand what are functions. Dear friends, functions are pre-written or predefined formulas. Excel has functions for commonly used formulas and operations. For example, if we wish to do addition, then instead of typing the formula, we can simply use the built-in function sum to add these numbers. To use any function, we should be familiar with the structure or the syntax of that function. As I have already mentioned, functions are nothing but predefined formulas. So functions just like formulas will always begin with an equal to sign. After the equal to sign, you will put the name of the function. Then you will enter the arguments of the function and these arguments will be put in a pair of circular brackets. What are the arguments? Arguments are the inputs which are required to calculate the result of the function. For example, if we are doing addition, then the numbers which are to be added are the arguments. The arguments must be put in the specific order which is there in the syntax. This order is fixed and if you have more than one arguments in the uh, function, then these must be separated by a comma. The arguments may be mandatory, that is those arguments without which uh, the function cannot give you a result or they may be optional, that means the user may or may not give these arguments. If you look at the syntax of a typical function, it is given in this uh, blue box. The syntax is equal to name of the function followed by opening of the circular bracket. Then we give our first argument and like I said the argument uh, sequence is fixed. We can't change the sequence. Then if the more than one arguments are needed, put a comma, give the second argument, put the comma, give more arguments. After giving all the arguments, we will close the brackets and press enter. For example, if I am adding two numbers, 5 and 2, then I will write equal to sum, circular brackets open, 5, comma 2, circular brackets closed and press enter to get the result. Now how can we insert functions in Excel? For inserting the functions in Excel, we can either directly type the function in the cell or we can insert the function from the function library. Let us see uh, how this is done. Let us see that in the workbook. So like I said, either we directly type. I know the function sum, so I will just type equal to. I will give name of the function sum. You can see it is even prompting me by showing me the list. As soon as I enter anything, it shows me the entire list. Then I will start the circular bracket. As soon as I start the circular bracket, it shows me the first argument, number 1. So the first number that I want to add, say I want to add 10 and 20, then 10 can be the first number, comma. Then number 2 is the argument which I have to enter. You will also notice that number 2 is written in a pair of square brackets. Number 3 is also written in a pair of square brackets. Whenever any argument is shown in a square bracket, it means it's an optional argument. That means I may or may not give this argument. So I will give this argument because I am adding two numbers. So I will put 20 and I will close my uh, uh, brackets because I am only adding two numbers. And to get the result, I will press enter. So it is showing me 30 which is 10 plus 20. Now if I do not know the name of my function, uh, what I can do is I can go to the function library and I can insert my function from there. If I know which category, where is my function library, you can see this is the formula tab. So you click on the formula tab 
and when you click on the formula tab you will find that there is this function library this one and in the function library there are various categories of functions which i can see from so uh, my sum is a mathematical function so what i can do is if i am aware of the category of the function i will simply click on the drop down list of this uh, uh, category and this is an alphabetical list so i will just scroll down to see where my sum is there here is my sum function i will click on this function when i click on it the uh, functions argument dialog box opens which prompts me to give the arguments so number 1 uh will be say uh, i want to add 20 and uh, i want to add uh, 3 so i can click okay and the result 23 will be shown over here uh if i am not aware of the category to which my function belongs i can insert my function from here this is uh, fx this is the insert function command click on the cell where you want to insert the function and click on the insert function command uh clear the category if it is showing any category that you have used click on all and now from this description this box search for a function just add a brief description of the function which you want to uh use for example i want to add so i'll just type add and click on go when i do that it shows me all the functions which are which have something to do with addition so from here when i click on any function name it even shows me what this function does sum adds all the numbers in a range so i will select my function from here click on okay again you can see that the same functions argument uh, uh, dialog box opens from where i can just uh, select my number or the references and click on okay uh, yes uh, i just want to mention that uh, when we are typing a function just like in case of formula we can give cell references also as arguments we've talked about uh, giving cell references as arguments in the last uh, uh, module that we discussed on formulas so uh, that is how a function can be inserted uh, by excel let us now look at the various categories of functions uh, which are available in excel so ex under excel you have let's have an overview you can have uh, excel provides you with logical functions uh, mathematical and trigonometric functions statistical functions date and time functions financial functions lookup and reference functions text functions database functions information functions engineering functions cube functions so it uh, from the simple functions like sum to the more complex functions uh, a lot of functions are built into excel and uh, uh it uh, solves our problem of remembering all the complicated mathematical uh, formula we can simply uh, use the function so long as we know what function to use and uh, uh, we know what arguments will go into that function we don't have to remember the exact formula so uh, these are the various categories which are available now uh, what we are going to do is we are going to pick up one uh, category and that is the logical function and i'm going to discuss a function called if which is a very uh, commonly used function in excel what does if function do if function works on an if then else statement for example if there is some uh, condition that you want to evaluate based on the outcome of that condition you want to give the output then we use if function the argument that this function takes the syntax of this function is equal to if uh circular bracket opens logical underscore test this is the first argument comma value if true this is the second argument comma the last argument which is an optional argument and that is value if false so uh what are these arguments the first argument is logical test logical test is the condition which we are evaluating if this condition is true if this condition is satisfied depending on whether it is satisfied or not i will have either this outcome of value if true if it is satisfied then value if true will be executed if it is not satisfied then value if false will be executed let us understand the working of if function with the help of an example now here i have student marks data with me and this student marks data what i am going to do is for this uh, marks data i am uh, i want to print the result of the student whether the student has passed or the student has failed uh, the student is considered to pass if he 
uh, is able to get 40 or more marks and if he does not get 40 or more marks then he fails so if marks are more than or equal to 40 he passes else he fails so i have to use if function and evaluate what the marks are and accordingly give the result so let us start typing equal to if bracket opens what is the logical test? I have to see whether the marks are more than equal to 40. Marks which are in C5 are greater than equal to 40. If this is true, what should happen? Pass should be printed. So I will just type pass within a pair of quotations. Else, if this is not greater than equal to 40, then the student has failed. So I will just type fail. And I will close my brackets and press enter. So this student has passed. And if I copy this, then I can see the result of all the students. So this is how the if function works. Now the last thing that we are going to discuss in this session is the nested functions. What do we mean by nesting of functions? Uh, when we use one function as an argument within the other function. So while writing the arguments of function 1, I give function 2 as one of the arguments. That is called as nesting of functions. Let us again understand nesting of functions with the help of an example. I am taking a simple case of a government employee Kavya. Uh, Kavya is a government employee. Her basic salary is 50,000. Uh, she is also entitled to 10,000 HRA. However, that HRA depends on whether she is living in a government accommodation or not. So, if she is living in the government accommodation that means if y then she will only be entitled to basic else if she is not living in a government accommodation then she will be entitled to basic plus hra so there are two things that i have to do one i have to check whether Ka kavya uh, owns is living in a government accommodation or not that means if function will be used and then if she is not living then i have to find the sum of basic and hra that means some function is to be used so uh, let us see how this function can be inserted uh, let's start with equal to if what is my condition i have to check whether this cell the value is equal to y the value is equal to y if the value is equal to y, what happens? She is uh, living in the government accommodation, so she only gets basic. So then I should only get basic in my salary. However, if this is not y, if she is not living in a government accommodation, then I have to find the total of basic and HRA. So sum basic and HRA. You can see that uh, the brackets that I am applying, I have a, uh, number one, I have nested a function within the other. Sum is nested within if. Sum is being used as value if false argument. Uh, second thing that to, you should notice is that the back brackets are color coded for our convenience so that we know that all the brackets are closed. So as soon as I close the next bracket, uh, the argument is closed and I press enter. It is showing me 50,000 because I have taken that Kavya is a government, uh, uh, is staying in government accommodation. If I change that, you can see automatically now she is getting 60,000. So this is how you can nest one function in another. Uh, many functions can be nested within each other. And uh, thank you. I hope you have enjoyed this session. We will continue with Excel functions in other sessions as well. Thank you.